Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on for Infinite Galaxy. Two things um, first. So um, first, I switched to Nox Player as it's faster than Blue Stacks, which I used before. But um, as you may can hear, I don't have any sound. So if you have an idea how I can turn on the sound with Nox Player, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, I would appreciate it. And the second thing is, um, if you look at my resources, don't get your hopes high and um, try to farm me. They will be gone by the time that I will upload that video. Um, this is also something for all the little bit newer players. If you already passed um, comment level 10, other players can farm the resources you have. Um, so make sure that when you have very high resources, you turn on a shield um, and try to use your resources, especially like before you go um, sleeping, that um, you don't get farmed overnight. Okay, so um, now to the topic today, um, events, how to farm them quickest. So I already prepared the drones that we don't have any waiting times. What I did is I did send my scouting drones in three different directions. So I got the red one south or on the bottom, the green one top right and the purple one top left. Um, if you only have two drones, that's also fine. In the past, when I started the game, when I sent out my drones, I clicked on the first um, system and I did send my drone there. Then I clicked on the second system, sent my drone there and so on. But um, the disadvantage there is many times there were then switches from one system to another and suddenly I had um, waiting times, flight times of my drones of three to nine minutes and um, that's not very efficient. So what I do now is I look for um, a system in different areas and I do send my drone there and then I click the icon of my drone and um, I just select the next system I say go in this case it's a prospect I select the red drone that I just had and I will send it there then I go to the next one the green drone I click this again and um, I go to the next task in that system if there's one um, always make sure that you select the drone where you were just looking and then I click on the purple one in this case and the same thing. So this has advantage. I can keep the flight times as short as possible. Then I just look on the right side with my drones as soon as um, these timers jump to five minutes I can send them again. So all of them already reached their destination. Um, they will jump to five seconds nearly at the same time. I will already go to the red drone. This gives me the time I can um, already collect the rewards there. Um, as we see, finish this one. I also will collect the reward here. And I will send the red drone to the next system to have the shortest possible flight time. And um, so like this, I continue this the whole time. I finish the tasks in one system, sure. If you only want to do certain um, events because of the rewards, that's also fine. Um, I think nearly all rewards are um, yeah, somehow helpful. So I just usually click through all of them because um, another thing is if you do a lot of these events, you get these chests here on the bottom. So they do have some really nice um, rewards, especially also the data cards um, to be able to upgrade your crew members and quite some nice additional resources. If I find a special event, I do not do it directly because the special events, they are at your home system. So if I would do this um, special event now, the drone has to fly back home to the home system which will take a long time. So I really, I continue farming quite a few um, events there. It goes 
pretty quick if you do it like this and um, yeah the more drones you have sure the faster it will also be but um, even with only two drones um, honestly you will be mainly just busy clicking them you will have nearly no waiting time in between because 99% um, of the time you will just jump from one system to the other that takes less than one minute then you do the scanning um, go to the next task Hopefully even in the same system, this takes a few seconds, scanning, next system and so on. So we can already send the purple drone to our next target. We will get our rewards here. I usually prioritize um, first uh, core module XP, crew XP, um, ships and um, then depending if I need a certain kind of resources, um, these resources as um, also building materials for um, for your ship model, modules. So um, yeah, I want to go through this very quickly as you see um, talking about this it already takes me more time then my drones need to finish their tasks. So um, it's not the most interesting thing to do in game, but the rewards you get are pretty good. So I highly recommend you to do this at least a few minutes every day to get these additional rewards. Another thing you can look out for in these events are the discoveries, because there you also get um, very big rewards. You can target them if you um, have a question mark here and you click on it. It tells you already in which galaxy you have to look. Um, so you can even do this really um, targeting things to make sure that you get these rewards quickly. And um, yeah, that's something that is for sure worth um, the time because um, yeah you get a lot of rewards. I did do a short list let me quickly open this for you. Okay so here we go. Um, I can't guarantee that this is already complete but from um, what I what I saw so far if you go to disable Stargate, you can get core XP, crew XP, material chests, deuterium, and nickel. Um, prospects will give you core XP, material chests, deuterium, titan. Meteor meteoroids, um, material chests, deuterium, titan, and uh, micron chips, core XP, crew XP, material chests. Ghost Fighter, um, Core XP, Crew XP, Material Chest, so they are similar to the Migrant Chips. Um, damaged Warships, you can get Core XP, Material Chests and Warships. Drifting Storage, Core XP or Crew XP. As said, um, can't guarantee that this is complete. This is just what I saw during um, my last few um, collections. I just started the list, but um, same there. If you have additional information, so if you know a complete list, maybe even with the percentage inside, let me know. Um, I would love to update this. And um, yeah, if you target something special, like um, you want to get nickel, you already know that you very likely want to farm disabled stargates. Um, core XP for me, one of the most important things you want to farm anything but meteoroids, crew XP, um, migrant ships, ghost fighters, drifting storage or disabled stargates and so on. So um, you, at least you get an idea where you can get what kind of resources and um, yeah so okay so that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think. Um, Looking forward to see your feedback in the comment section. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. And um, as always, 
enjoy the game and see you on the next video.